Hey guys, so it's been a while since I made a video, uh, so I wanted to give you a little update of what is going on in our classroom this week. Um, we've had a huge round of the flu, so a lot of my students were out last week and the week before. So now that I'm starting to get more students into the classroom, I wanted to do a little bit of clay work. And I wanted to show you how I set up for my clay and what we did today. So at the front of the room on this left table, I went to lunch duty and collected all of the containers that kids were eating pears out of. Uh, and then I mixed up the slip to put in these containers so um, almost everyone in the classroom can have their own slip container. I ordered a big 25 pack of little sponges and then I have my water cups and then the tools that are there. Um, I'm also thinking about putting this setup on a rolling cart so hopefully that might work as well if I need to move this table at all. And then to the right this is where I have my clay. So um, in the bags is where I'm gonna have my clay and then today I had small pieces already rolled up so these were my small pieces that they used for their pinch pots and then these are the larger blocks of clay that we can cut pieces off of hopefully tomorrow and the next day. These um, hanging on the chalkboard are what I use for clay cutters. They are two wooden beads that are connected to a piece of fishing line and they work really well for cutting clay. Um, I just get the heavy duty fishing line and then I can make as many clay cutters as I need rather than getting the metal ones. And then to the right I have all of my giant gallon size bags and some sharpies so that they can write their names on them and that will know whose is whose. So this is the setup that I have at the front of the room. They can grab their slip, their sponge, their water cup, any tools that they need, and then they can go to the sink that's behind me. Um, and then they, once they have all of their supplies, then they can come over and get clay. For the extra clay that I have, my big, big pieces, they are in um, just a big plastic tote over here with uh, some sponges inside. You can actually see the condensation on the inside so that you know that this clay is not going to dry out. So I'm glad about that. And then inside my giant galaxy cabinet is where I keep all of the kids' projects. Now I'm still working on a good system for inside this cabinet, but I'm hoping to get some plastic containers that I can put inside here so that I have more space. This one I have their stuff inside different boxes. It's a little messy right now but I'm hoping that I can find some containers that are going to fit in here really well. So I know it sounds a little elementary but all of my students are at different levels. So I started them out with pinch pots. Um, I talked about where clay comes from, what it is, and then um, how people use it in the past and how we can continue to use it with art and with craft. So we started with just a very simple pinch pot and it took the entire class um, to talk about it and then to actually do it. Tomorrow I'm gonna go over slab building and coils and how to work with those and how you can add those on to different pinch pots that you would want to make. Their main project is not going to be just a pinch pot, but um, I want it to be more open for them to create what they want, but I want them to understand the basic techniques first. So tomorrow we're going over slab building, coils, slipping and scoring, making sure that things are the proper thicknesses, and that way that everyone understands the basics so that they can then do bigger, more complicated, more fun projects. I think my favorite thing about clay is the fact that I get to see students that normally struggle either with focus or with being distracted or um, just not wanting to do art. As soon as they get their hands on clay, something clicks and it changes and their 
whole demeanor takes on a different characteristic and they become a different person. And so that's kind of the coolest thing for me to see is the students that normally struggle with 2D art or the paper things, sketching, drawing, something three-dimensional makes sense to their brain. And so it was really cool to see some of them enjoy and come into class and be like, we're gonna make something out of clay, yeah! They were really excited about that. That's kind of what I really, really liked about today. It was really, really cool. And so here are some of the pinch pots from today that didn't fit in my cabinet because I don't have the right boxes for it. But some of them did really, really well. And you can see the condensation in some of these. That's actually really nice because that means that they won't dry out by tomorrow. And so I'm excited to see what they create and what they add to these projects. Okay, so I have an update. Um, I went to Walmart and I got these containers. They come in packs of four and they were $10. Um, they fit wonderfully inside of my cabinet. And so now each class period that I have will have a shelf with four containers in it. So I'm still gonna label each shelf with what class period they have and then if anybody has a project that's a little bit bigger than the box they will go on top so all the projects will be inside of those plastic totes and then any larger projects will just be carefully placed on top so that is so much better than yesterday's disaster of plastic bags throughout all of these 